Hello YouTube. I will be making one of my favorite dishes, but I haven't made it for quite some time, so I'll take it a little bit slower. It's sweet potato and banana pancakes. I am laughing because <laughs> for the last half an hour I am trying to pronounce this properly and I'm saying things like sweet banana, sweet something, everything except sweet potato and I think finally I got it. But never mind. We'll go through the ingredients, we'll mix everything together step by step and then we'll start throwing it in the pan. We'll see what's going to come out and uh, we'll see what it's going to taste like. My banana isn't as ripe as I thought it would be, so what I will do, I will cut it into small pieces and warm it up in a pot of milk or water, whichever you prefer, um, but I prefer milk, so I will warm it up and it will make it softer, it's just going to be much much easier to cook and to mix with, with the other ingredients. What you can do also is add the cinnamon. I have boiled the sweet potatoes. I have cut them previously, throw them in the water, boiled them. As you can see, the skin comes off very easily once they are boiled. The amount you do is up to you. I will use one sweet potato. I've got some more over there and throw it in the bowl and add the other ingredients. Once you will mash everything together, the sweet potato, the banana mash, which I've prepared earlier, and the egg, it's best to taste it. It's sweet enough. The only thing that I need to do is add a little bit of flour because I think it's too moisty and it can fall apart in the pan. Today, I will be using butter instead of olive oil or any other oil. You could do with coconut oil. Oh, actually that's a good idea. Probably would enhance the taste. Well, we'll see. Let's start with the butter. What I would suggest, once you throw in the butter, make sure that it's very hot so the pancakes won't stick to the bottom because the dough is still a little bit let's say runny. Once the mash hits the hot butter, it should fry straight away and not stick to the pan. As you saw, we are already finished with the cooking and the frying and the mixing and everything. The pancakes came out the way they should have come out, although what I did show you wasn't the first batch. The first batch was a bit of a disaster. I didn't add enough flour and it was very hard to flip them over and they've burned a little bit. But they did taste very good. So, with the second batch, I have added more flour, mixed everything up again and started frying that. They came out the way they should have come out. Fluffy, cooked from top and bottom, and they are good inside. I did also make a little bit of chocolate syrup. Very easy way to make it. You just need a little bit of cocoa, sugar, a little bit of milk. If you don't use milk, use the almond drinks or the soya drinks that they make uh, these days. Plenty of these things in the shops. There's nothing else to do now but to enjoy them. So have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.